Hi everybody, it's Fab. I'm at Velothi Palace today. I'll show you where we are on the map. It's uh, quite easy to find. We're right there over in the east. Crag Swallow Slope <laughs> is there and Mazulft. So not too far from Windhelm, which is where I travelled from. It's a lovely spot. Beautiful morning in Skyrim. And this is it. Get used to looking at this texture of the stone because the whole house is made of it. And it's quite stunning. I've never seen anything quite like this before. Gorgeous outside. Oh, beautiful day. These are all static and very pretty. Look at the doors. Okay, so inside, highly decorated. Look at that. So a couple of drop-off chests. And then you're into the home. Got a nice dining room and this area, which I guess is just a sort of sitting room, little desk, somewhere to take tea. All the ornaments are really pretty, somewhere to put various books. In fact, the, ha the house does contain a lot of um, areas for specialised storage. Look at that teapot. <laughs> My eye keeps getting drawn to it. Ooh, this, ooh, that. It's really very lovely in here. And then over on the other side, got a nice bar area. I don't know, I'm missing windows. Are you missing windows? I feel like it could do with some windows. I know it's built into the mountain, but I don't know. I think it's the, um, the sandstone is quite wearing when there's such a lot of it. Nice alchemy area. And enchanting and staff enchanter. Somewhere to put your bug jars. And I do love those lanterns, they are so pretty. and some fertile soils. And here's your smithing area. Look at this smelter and forge, that is so nice. Very unusual. It's a nice little workroom. There are seven NPCs in this home, I've switched them off. And there's a toggle in the bedroom so that you can do that. Do you know, I didn't even know that door was there. Ooh, nice fridge. Wow, look at this cold store. Okay, and this is very beautiful. Oh wow, nice follower rooms. Look at these beds. I'm pretty sure I haven't seen this furniture before. 
and I've seen a lot of this mod author's homes, but this one is very different. Aren't they love they're really lovely rooms? I've got it set not to auto strip me. You can't pick any of the flowers. Wow. I guess these are not just for your followers but for the NPCs that come with the home. See the lamps have changed to blue, that is so nice. Oh, that's quite spectacular. Just before I forget. <laughs> Formal dining. It's all static. Wow. Okay. So then you've got display hall and bedrooms. And two levels in here. And there really is storage for everything. <laughs> Not everything, but, you know, an awful lot. All the things I haven't got yet. And it's really nice, isn't it beautiful? I really like that marble background. I must say it's beautifully lit in here. I have no travel lantern on this fab and it's really very nice. It feels warm and cosy. Loads of mannequins and weapon racks for your more generic things and your favorite outfits. And so much storage for everything. And then over the way, the bedrooms. And this is a nice suite. Bit of private dining. You can look down over. More bookshelves, benches. Another little office. And room for kids in here. There's room for six. The bedding. <laughs> Just reminds me of a pair of curtains. I don't know why. <laughs> Cozy. And then wow at this. 
This is stunning. Look at that. I love the awning. It's so sweet out here. And these you can pick. And your room. And there is a, a teleport spell for this home as well, which is handy. I haven't actually got a single home that has a teleport spell at the moment to get me out of trouble. And here are the buttons for uh, auto undress and your NPCs. And the teleport right there on your bedside table so that's it that's just about everything in this home it really is very lovely I'm gonna leave you with that view I'll call that the end of this video and I'll see you soon for another